U.S. Physics Olympiad Year 2015 USA PHO Final Exam This exam consists of uh, six problems Part A four problems and Part B two problems For each uh, part they were given 60 minutes Solutions for all problems you can find below this uh, video in the reference of the description if you want to check many other problems from US Olympiad or whatever, you can subscribe to this channel. Problem A. Consider a particle of mass M that elastically bounces off of an infinitely hard horizontal surface under the influence of gravity. The total mechanical energy of the particle is E, and the acceleration of free fall is G. Treat the particle as a point mass and assume the motion is not relativistic. Question A. An estimate for the regime where quantum effects become important can be found by simply considering when the de Broglie wavelength of the particle is on the same order as the height of a bounce. Assuming that the de Broglie wavelength is uh, defined by the maximum momentum of the bouncing particle, determine the value of the energy EQ where quantum effects become important. Write the answer in terms of sum of all or G, M, and the Planck constant H. Solution From definition of de Broglie wave length, we can write that uh, momentum P equal H over lambda, where H is uh, Planck's constant and uh, lambda is de Broglie wave length. Now, uh, because we consider that lambda equal height, we can write these uh, relations. Total energy of uh, bouncing equal mgh, which is equal to p square over 2m. Now we can use uh, p as uh, this expression, and lambda equal h. So we have this relation. And uh, from here we can find what is uh, height h. For h we have uh, this expression. And uh, after all energy equal this formula. That's uh, root 3 from m g square h square over 2. This is the answer for question a. Part b. A second approach allows us to develop an estimate for the actual lowered energy levels of a bouncing particle. Assuming that the particle rises to a height h, we can write this equation, where p is the momentum as a function of height x above the ground, n is non negative integer and the h is a Planck's constant. First, determine the allowed energies E n as a function of integer n and sum or all of uh, G m and the uh, Planck's constant h. Two, numerically determine the minimum energy of a bouncing neutron. The mass of a neutron is a uh, this one in kilograms or mega electron volts per c square. You may express your answer in either joules or electron volts. 3. Determine the bounce height of one of these uh, minimum energy neutrons. Solution First of all, we can write that uh, energy equal Potential energy mgx plus kinetic energy momentum square over 2m and uh, we can express this uh, p 
copy from this formula and uh, use presented formula. Momentum equal this formula, and uh, now we can use this uh, to this integral. And uh, we have to take this integral that will be. And uh, for this integral, we have uh, this answer. And uh, from here, we can find the energy levels as a function of uh, n. So energy levels will be equal to this uh, formula as a function of uh, number n. And now we can estimate what are energy levels for neutron. We can estimate uh, what is the uh, minimum energy level for neutron for n equals zero. That will be approximately 1.1 multiplied by 10 power negative uh, 12 electron volts. That's the uh, answer for second question. And uh, finally for third question we have answer height H equal zero uh, minimum energy level over Mg which is about 10 microns. Part C let E0 be the minimum energy of the bouncing neutron and F be the frequency of the bounce. Determine an order of magnitude estimate for the ratio E over F if only needs to be accurate to within an order of magnitude or so, but you do need to show work. Solution. Height equal one half g t square. From here we can find what is the uh, time to fill down for neutron. And the uh, frequency equal just one over t, which is about uh, one hundred seventy five hertz for our calculated height. And uh, finally, when we estimate what is uh, energy over frequency that will be this one over this one which is at 6.3 multiplied by 10 power negative 16 electron volts multiplied by seconds which is uh, close to Planck constant. Planck constant has a coefficient 6.6 .6 here with the same 